So the big question, uh, what happened? Hey, you gotta move the truck out of here. You don't got no beacon in your truck. Specifically two things. Number one, uh, why did the gear collapse? And number two, why did the engine quit? First question, why did the gear collapse? The short answer is we don't know. Talking to John Williams at Titan Aircraft, there has never been a gear collapse when the gear was down and locked. Uh, so that would lead you to believe that the gear was rigged improperly and that's what caused the gear to collapse. Emergency started with a um... Uh, it was an attempted landing. Uh, Just so we're clear here, I, I'm not here to assess blame. Uh, the NTSB has finished their uh, investigation. The FAA finished their investigation. The insurance company has finished their investigation. I'm not here to assess blame. I'm not here to talk about who made mistakes. They're born for probably another 15 minutes during which time uh, we scrambled Jim. That's Jim right there. So there's two people that touched the gear recently. Uh, first was John Williams during the engine installation at Titan. Uh, at the very least, that whatever he did to the gear would have had all the landings it took to get the airplane from Ohio to California, which we'll say is 10 landings plus Ethan's two landings and then my, say, five landings. Um, so that's, what, 20 landings since uh, John touched it? Got Jim on the radio just in time for the uh, uh, complete electrical failure. The other person that had touched the gear is the owner, Jim. Uh, Jim touched it in between Ethan flying the airplane and my flying the airplane. So, you know, whatever my 510 landing, something like that, had all happened uh, since uh, Jim had touched the airplane. So, regardless of uh, whether the problem came from the work that was done in Compton or the work that was done in Ohio, there were several landings uh, after that work was done where the gear functioned properly. I was a little bit uh, short, a little low on energy. The next question is why did the engine quit? So, the short answer is that the hydraulic system took out the main bus and the main bus took out the engine. Again, we've already talked about the airplane is non-redundant, so it's all automotive, non-redundant, electrically driven fuel injection and ignition systems. So without a main bus, you don't have an engine. The last piece is the relationship between the mechanical downlocks and the uh, hydraulic system. Pulled the prop back and was able to extend the glide. So you can see where we're at right now. The um, displaced threshold is uh, just past that taxiway there. In uh, most aircraft that use the Parker hydraulic power pack, uh, which is most home built with retractable gear, they use the pressure switches that are installed in the power pack. So there's a high pressure switch and a low power pressure switch. When the pressure in the system gets below a set point, the pump turns on. And then when it reaches the high set point, it turns off. So therefore, from my perspective as a pilot, when I saw that the gear had collapsed and I looked down and checked that we were at 450 PSI, which is the high pressure set point for the system, my assumption was that the pump had cycled off, but that it was holding pressure. If the pressure had not built up, one would assume that the pump was on. Since it was at the high pressure switch limit, one would assume the pressure switch was off. And I uh, was able to hold the right main up for a little while, but it wouldn't take any pressure. So it pretty quickly collapsed. Uh, once it collapsed, the wing dug in and spun around, went for a little bit of a ride. The difference is that Titan turns the pump on and off, not with the pressure switches, but with the down locks. So as soon as that gear collapsed and the light in the cockpit turned off, the pump turned on. And since the transition light, which is called out by the Titan plans, was not installed, there was no way for the pilot to know that the pump was running. Airplane never uh, uh, flipped over, obviously. Um, so what happened was the pump overwhelmed the main bus. The main bus has a circuit breaker. The circuit breaker is not in the normal line of circuit breakers on that bottom row. It's above the master switch uh, up on the top of the panel. And then that circuit breaker uh, was set to the plans to be at uh, 25 amp breaker. It was a 30 amp breaker, which is good that they sized that breaker up when they installed the big fuel pumps and the hydraulic pump in the airplane. However, the fuel pumps plus the hydraulic pump meant that every time the hydraulic pump was turned on, that load combined with the fuel pump load of the airplane was above that of the main breaker, the 30 amp breaker on the main bus. Which means that every time uh, that airplane took off and the gear was cycled up, the engine could have quit the way it did on that flight. It hadn't, uh, and it's again uh, back to that bathtub concept of risk. Uh, while we had assumed that since we got through that first 140 hours, we had exposed the airplane to most of these scenarios, this was a scenario that the airplane had not been exposed to.